Hey guys, this is Drew from Inspo, your AI inspiration partner. And I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the latest version of the beta. So let's get into it. The journey on Inspo starts with a simple keyword search. So let's say I am a coffee marketer and I am planning a new campaign and seeking some inspiration. What I can do is just enter the keyword coffee. And now at the top of the screen, I can see a map of word associations around that keyword. So these associations have come from the Haiku Jam social writing game, which is our company's first product. Haiku Jam is a place where over a million strangers around the world are writing short poems together around all sorts of interesting, weird, and wonderful topics. And what Inspo is doing is analyzing that writing and giving you a glimpse into that collective subconscious here. So you can think of these word associations almost like a map of different rabbit holes that you can go down and explore. So uh, immediately, some of the, the words that caught my eye were uh, morning and night together. Perhaps coffee is something that can just be enjoyed at all times of the day, not a specific time. Um, another one is addiction. Seems to be some negative context and association around that. And of course, one of the big associations with coffee seems to be the word love. And why don't we click through to this? And now Inspo will show us second degree associations with coffee in the context of love. And this is often where things get really, really interesting. Um, again, the immediate words that catch my eye are desperation, possibility, bittersweet, bitterness, tea seems to feature here as well. And uh, smell is a lot. Uh, it seems to be a common association. So if we click through again. Now we are three degrees down from the root search word. And again, some really, really interesting words and concepts here that we can keep on exploring. So you can literally keep going down to almost n degrees of possibility around any word. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great way of just going down those rabbit holes and ending up in a place that you perhaps never would have imagined that you could. So uh, why don't we just go back to the root keyword for a second, coffee? Because what I'd like to show you is that you can actually filter these word associations here based on either just generally all of the words um, or you can get more specific with the nouns, verbs, and adjectives. So if we just, just explore nouns around coffee, um, you can get a glimpse into what those are. So books, caught my eye, shop, memories, lover, date. And just like before, you can just keep clicking through and uh, exploring. So to provide different contexts and possibilities around these associations at the top, Inspo also shows you content from curated sources across the web. So at the bottom here, if we just scroll through this feed, we can see a bunch of different content all around the keyword coffee. We've got collaborative poems and thoughts from Haiku Jam, images from Unsplash, quotes from Goodreads, snippets of Google News, National Coffee Day deals. We've got famous advertising campaigns about coffee, some interesting inspiration from design blogs, recent and trending posts on Instagram, and lots more. And uh, if you like, you can actually filter this content based on the specific source or the specific format. 
Now, I won't go through all of these filters just because this video is going to go on for way too long. But um, if I can just show you a couple here. So if we click on Haiku Jam, and of course, as I mentioned, this is you know uh, one of our company's core products. And we can see here that the analysis has taken place across 180,000 jams about coffee. Um, and we've got all of those little thoughts, poems, micro stories here. Now, if you wanna filter even deeper based on specific emotions, you can do that just at the top, just below the overview. So we can see, wow, there's, you know, uh, actually it's pretty expected. 56% um, of the jams express joy. So if we click through to joy, we can actually get a glimpse of what some of those poems are. And if we just explore a couple more, what should we go for? Let's click on visual. And then you get some just beautiful images from Unsplash and a few other sources all about coffee. And if we click on quotes, then we get some powerful and interesting quotes from literature and other sources that are all about coffee. So I love this T.S. Eliot quote. I have measured out my life with coffee spoons. <laughs> and that's the general idea of it. There's a, a lot of other sources that you can explore from famous ad campaigns to what's happening on social media, Twitter and Instagram around coffee and all the way up to snap, uh, snapshots from Google Trends as well. Naturally, as you're going through all of this content on Inspo, some pieces will resonate more than others, and you definitely don't want to lose them. So what you can do is you can actually save them to an inspiration board and let me just show you how that works. So why don't we go to the memes filter and let's say, okay, here's a meme from nine gag. That's kind of making me chuckle. It's also triggered the beginnings of a thought. And uh, if I just hover the, the save button, I can add that to one of my boards. I already have a bunch of inspiration boards set up. Let me add it to international coffee day since this is all about coffee and I can just jot down a very quick thought musing or a note related to this. So uh, when I saw this, I immediately thought of Halloween, Halloween and the, uh, the kind of connection between dark coffee and dark humor or, you know, uh, dark stories. So, that could be a really interesting thread to tug on a little bit further. So let me just save that to the board. And now on the left of the screen, I can get quick access to uh, my inspiration boards. So if I just click on International Coffee Day, there I can see all of the content that I have saved here around coffee. There are some design inconsistencies right now, so please just forgive those. We are in private beta and very much iterating. And uh, on the right here, you can actually just look at all your notes related to this topic, related to this content. You can filter that based on the board level or you know around specific content pieces. And the purpose of the board is really just to dump everything in there, to synthesize it and to help you make meaning from it and also um, come up with stories of your own that can be useful for campaigns or content that you might be sharing with the world.
So in this demo, I've shared just a handful of Inspo's capabilities. There are a lot more, and I'll save those for future videos. But we truly believe that Inspo is an example of a low floor, high ceiling product, right? It's pretty easy to get started on it, but the possibilities are infinite. So do join the waitlist, and we can't wait to help enrich your creative thinking. Thank you and think inspired.